Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. The 19 year old teenager who was killed in a vicious and absolutely ferocious attack near his home on Friday, June 25th in Sydenham has been named locally as to Sean Watt. This 19 year old was murdered near his South East London home on Friday night at roughly 9.30pm. Now the most distressing part of the attack was, minutes later, his mother was at the scene of the crime and she was forced to watch as paramedics battled to save her son's life. Now when a parent is put in that position, they are defenceless, they are stripped off all their emotions and their emotions are very, very raw and the pain is very palpable. What that means is you cannot even begin to describe it. Every single second, watching emergency services do CPR or inject a person with medicine or tear at their clothes in order to stem the bleeding will feel like a lifetime. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. So according to reports, the emergency services were called to meal walk shortly before 9.30pm on that Friday. And when they found the knife victim, he was already suffering from serious injuries and had also lost a ton of blood. Paramedics, namely the London Ambulance Services, battled to save his life, but he sadly passed away at the scene of the crime, from what police say were injuries that can only be described as a flurry of blows. The victim, to Sean Watts, who was known locally as Tata, is the 18th Londoner to be killed so far this year, with 16 of the killings coming by way of knife crime. This is an epidemic. Now, despite the fact that information is limited, police did call Dawn off a nearby house on Bow Green as there was blood spatter on the door, which can indicate that this was a fight or a scuffle or maybe the teenager did not die where he was found. He may have tried to run home or stumbled against the house trying to catch his breath, also trying to stem the bleeding. Now, when a crime of this magnitude happens, please try their best to assure Londoners and the wider public that they will continue to support the local community and apprehend those responsible. However, the response to tackling knife crime is subpar to say best. All you have to do is take a look at the death tolls and it's safe to say a lot of people are not afraid of the repercussions of walking or carrying with a knife. It was just last week a witness dialed 999 after a man was recorded actually walking down the street with a knife as if it was nothing more than an accessory. More needs to be done. Now police can't really be blamed for the spat of violence because at the end of the day criminals and idiots who want to harm other people will do what they want regardless of what anybody says. But more programmes need to be implemented whether that be mentorships, opening up youth centres or integrating crime preventions into schools, or getting reformed gang members to talk to teenagers about the hardships of living with prospects of taking a life. And it's not nice to say this, but a 19-year-old, Tata, aka to Sean Watts, experienced an agonising death. Remember, this is a teenager that succumbed to a flurry of blows. He was stabbed multiple times, and every stab had the intention to kill. The intent of multiple stab wounds was meant to end his life essentially and though they have a 19 year old in custody who has to answer questions on suspicion of murder that's little comfort to the mother and the rest of the Sean Watts' family. To be frank, these deaths are a piss take. People want to scream about justice but yet are willing to slaughter each other in the same breath. All I can say is condolences. Stay safe and stop killing each other. Safe.